Hello, so it's time for a new nail video. Yes, my nails are yellowing, which I'm surprised they haven't been more yellow before because it's been since August, so this is the end of November, so August, September, October, November, four months of straight nail polish. Like, as soon as I take it off, I put a new one on. So, um, my nails always did go yellow, just like my big toenail always goes a little bit white. I don't know what that is, but my nails, my hobby, my love that I'm very obsessed with does not love me back. It is not beautiful to me, even though I try to make my nails look beautiful. Underneath, they are not beautiful. So anyways, um, this is my new nail video. Um, <clears throat> it is a similar video that I've done just because the overcoat, I mean, I've already done a couple of videos like this. I skipped uh, about a week of filming. I did my nails almost every day because of this. So this is my new favorite nail item. I mean, I'm obsessed with this thing. So on me and the my nails, mainly this nail is really curved and you know, it's my everyday use nail, my predominant hand. It keeps getting chipped after a day. <clears throat> so I have come to the conclusion that I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to use it all of the time, except if I'm doing something 3D. Because it comes off so easily, like I said, um, over the last week, since my last video, whenever that was, I have done a total of five other polishes. I did a sugar, a, a glitter, I did another crackle, and a, just a regular polish and the longest I can go without chipping a nail is two days. I can't get past the two day mark on using this peel off base coat, which is fine with me. I would love to wake up, do my nails, go to have my nails done all day, go to bed, and when I get back up, they're ready to start over again and I don't have to take it off. So I'm obsessed with this. I love it so much, but if I'm going to use 3D nail art and take the time and placement and such, I want it to last longer than a day. So I'm going to use a regular base coat on those days and I'm going to be using this base coat for forever with just regular polishes and especially glitter. It is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on and we will get started. Alright, so now that I've got my base coat on, the, oh wait, the next polish in line was this black crackle. And so, this is the one that I have to use, and then I choose, well, I have to use by my own, the way that I do it. I don't have to, I mean, this is not dire that I have to use this one, but this is the next one that I'm wanting to use in line. And to go with it, I just have to find a color that will go under it. So the other next one in line was this e.l.f. polish. Um, it is kind of like a nude with gold sparkles. Can you guys see the sparkles? Um, so I'm hoping that they look okay together. Kind of like a fall look, I would say. Um, especially with this nude, and hopefully the black doesn't drown it out too much. Um, but if it looks really bad, I can just like, in five seconds, have it all gone. I am seriously loving this. And this thing is only $10. I got it at livelovepolish.com. And um, I did have to wait and pre-order it because... Um, it's very popular. So, I've had it for about a month and I just started using it and I can't believe that I waited so long to use it. I was afraid that it wasn't going to work, but it works amazing. So, um, obviously we need to start with the base color, which is this e.l.f. polish. I did get it on Listia. This is the first e.l.f. polish I will ever be using. I do have like five, I think, that I got all of them off of Listia. 
Um, if you guys hear that in the background, that is my dog eating some bones. Both dogs. So I'm sure it's picking up on camera. Sorry about that. So this is still wrapped from the factory. I probably should have took this off before I have nail polish on. Okay, let's see if I can get it without breaking my nails. Polish. I think I'm good. Alright, so I just took the plastic off and it says that this is new improved formula to lewin formaldehyde did to DPH free, so that's a three free e.l.f. nail polish. Um, I don't know where you would buy this, but like I said, I got it off of Listia for probably a dollar or two. Um, this color is Glamour Girl. I don't know if that's going to be able to read that. Yeah. Whatever. So it's Glamour Girl. Anyways, I will type it up. By Elf. So, um, I guess we're ready to get started. Let's see what kind of brush Elf has. So it is a thick and thin brush. Thin that way and thick that way. So you only have two options to paint with. Alright, here we go. I hate nudes. This is very weird. Does this lid come off? Hold on. Okay, so it does not look like the the square lid comes off, but um, you can't hold it. Okay, the way that you have to hold it is like this. I mean, it's, I don't know, I don't know if you guys are getting it, but it's very weird. I would prefer it to be straight on. Very weird. It's crooked. Okay, here we go. All right, so I've got one coat on. Um, it really actually looks pretty good. Mm, the pinky looks smudged. Okay, well, I think I will probably go ahead and do a second coat, but it really doesn't look that bad for a one coat. And for not liking nude, I really am just... I don't see the point in a nude nail. I prefer color. But um, I think it really kind of goes with my skin tone. It's not that bad. It's just not a preference of mine. But um, I will go ahead and do a second coat just because I can. Alright, so now I've got two coats on. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and let them dry for a little bit before I start with the crackle because I don't want it moving the base color. So I will be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm done waiting. They're not fully dry, but like I said, I'm done waiting. So the color that we are putting on top of it is the Sally Hansen Crackle Overcoat an ink splatter so um, I guess let's get going alright let's see what happens it doesn't look like you guys can see anything It's kind of like a dark, a dark polish, especially with the, the brown color underneath or the nude. It's kind of dark. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the nails and then we will look and see. All right, so now I've got them all on. Like I said, it's just kind of like dark. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite for fall. And the uh, base color is not like making it look cool or anything. It's just kind of like, eh. So that is what happened with those two colors. Um, I mean, putting any of the crackles over any color, you're going to get a completely different outcome. Um, I did show you in one of the previous videos, I used a fuchsia, which was a hot pink of the crackle, and I put it over top of a um, green, and it turned red, like Christmassy colors. So, it all just depends on what your base color is. They can always look different. So let's go in real quick and put on our top coat and we will be done. All right, this is the finished product now. Um, obviously the top coat makes it much shinier. Um, if you don't put a top coat on, the crackle overcoats are always like dull matte looking probably whatever's in them that makes them crack I'm um, not sure what it is but um, they're always a little dull so these are the finished product shiny and I guess they're kind of fall like but thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and I'll see you next time bye